of all the silly explanations I have heard by flurfers to support their claim that the 60 nautical miles per degree works on a flat earth, the one Phuket Word has delivered is by far the silliest one. He states this, get a piece of string, you can make a line or a circle with that string, and whatever the length of that string, it becomes the circumference of your string circle, and thus you will have a specific radius, won't you? Once you have established that, any part of that string length, part of the circumference, will have a physical me measurement in length, and that length is equal to a certain number of degrees, depending on the radius. He describes here how the 60 nautical miles formula works in a circle, although he tries to wiggle a line into his description. This wiggling in becomes important later on, when he states, See, and you did all that with your imagination. Voila! When you draw a circle or a line with the same circumference as that circle, did it change reality? This, of course, is a parlor trick that anyone in his right mind can see through. I then try to explain that if you pull a string from a circular to straight, that doesn't change reality. It only changes the relationship between something that is there, a number of degrees in a circle, and the relation between that number and part of the circumference of that circle and something that isn't there anymore, that is the main part of all this, the circle. I'll explain with this diagram. When you have a circle, the spherical earth, as an observer you measure the angle between your zenith and a distant star. That star is so far away that its light rays are parallel and the GP of that star lies on a line parallel at your line of sight and running through the center of the earth. Since the measured zenith angle is equal to the zenith angle between the center of the earth and the GP of the star, the distance from the observer to the GP of the star is the zenith angle times 2 times pi times the radius of the earth divided by 360. This happens to be 60 nautical miles per degree of the zenith angle. When you unfold the circle to a straight line, you still have the measured zenith angle and you still have the GP of the star but you have lost the relationship between the two. The only way now to calculate the distance to the GP of the star is solving the triangle observer star GP of the star. You could do that by solving the sign of the zenith angle alpha, that is the distance to the GP divided by the distance to the star. But you don't know the distance to the star. You could try the tangent of the zenith angle alpha, that is the distance to the GP divided by the height of the star. But you don't know the height of the star. There is no solution for the distance to the GP in a right triangle if you don't know at least the angle and one of the sides of that right triangle. I have tried to explain that now a zillion times, but it doesn't seem to land in the mind of the flurvers. They have come up with all kinds of silly explanations, and I must say, Phuket's attempt is an original one. It's a nonsensical one, and he knows it. He even admits it, probably without realizing it. Frank. You are correct, the length only becomes decrease when you turn the full length of the string into a circle. You create a relationship by creating a circle with the string. But he decides to go through with his line of reasoning and to put a little icing on the cake as he reacts to me saying that you cannot convert meters into degrees on a flat plane like this. Why? because you have a universal unit of measure of declination that is already measured in degrees, part of a circle. From horizon to horizon is 180 degrees, perspective is the imaginary curve. And he keeps on going and going with making one silly remark after another. 
I won't bother you with the rest of his nonsense, but this is how he ends. So, with no measure of curvature in navigation, it is as I've explained, and is easy for anyone to see. Earth, especially bodies of water, is level, not curved. Claiming a victory, he didn't even become close to. Phuket Word is a nice guy, but he most definitely isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs>